Fidelity Investments' latest financial resolution study finds Americans are optimistic about their finances at the start of a new decade. Yes, yeah, 78% predict that they'll be better off in 2020 than last year. Now, what's behind the rosy outlook and what are some things that, you know, they're doing to stay on the right financial track? We've got John Boroff of Fidelity Investments here to talk more about the findings and offer tips on how you can improve your finances in the new year. Hey, John. Hey, John. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah, no problem. So tell us, what are some of the key takeaways from this year's study? Well, the good news is that Americans are optimistic, as you mentioned, with 8 out of 10 feeling that they're going to be in a better financial position in 2020 than they were in 2019. What's interesting about that, though, is they're not giving all the credit to the economy. They're actually pointing to moves they've made in 2019 to set themselves up for success in the new year. Then when we look at the actual resolutions that people are selecting, we've done this study now for 11 years, and we've consistently seen the same top three themes. This year, they, they were uh, save more, pay down debt, and spend less. Mm -hmm. John, what do you think is motivating people to make these financial resolutions? Yeah, the biggest motivating factor, the, the number one response that we got was living a debt-free life. And then that was followed by some other things like getting control of everyday expenses and uh, preparing for a comfortable retirement. Awesome. And then what about, uh, what are some mistakes that people yeah. seem to be concerned about? That's always a thing, right? You want to yeah. be smart with your money, but you also may be yeah. a little bit fearful about some mistakes that you'll make along the way. Right. Uh, taking on new debt or adding to existing debt was a, was a big concern. It came across loud and clear in our survey. Um, there were, but the survey also uncovered some s other smaller, more easily addressable concerns. Things like eating out too often or paying too much for non-essential items, uh, things like subscription services that don't get used, or paying too much in fees. But at the end of the day, the number one response was unexpected expenses and health care costs. And those can be really difficult to prepare for. But one thing you can do is to establish an emergency fund. And what's really great is that 85% of our responders indicated that they plan to uh, start or add to an existing emergency fund in 2020. Great tips. Smart, yeah. And then, you know, once people make these resolutions, how can they stick to those, John? Yeah, what we do to, to, to get advice there is we look at people who've had success mm -hmm. turning these resolutions into good long-term financial habits, because that's really what we want to do. Um, so the first piece of advice that stood out to us was around planning and goal setting. So you want to make sure that you've got a plan, and it's a great idea to write the plan down so that you've got something that you can refer back to and something that you can hold yourself accountable to. When it comes to goal setting, you want to make sure that you've got goals that are clear, specific, and probably most importantly, achievable. Um, and you want to use that to track. So it's, it's important to have goals that are short-term goals, more medium-term goals, and then some more long-term goals. Um, the second piece of adv advice is really simple. It's basically let yourself celebrate small victories. The feeling you get from hitting a financial milestone or achieving a financial goal can go a long way toward creating the momentum uh, and motivation that you need to keep going in, with your plan. Awesome, John. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, great so advice. Much, definitely great advice to yeah. start off the new year fresh, and we'll have information for you guys at home on where you can find out some more information. That's right.